I know earlier during the pandemic or the early part of the summer, you were one of the few schools that actually were able to do some type of off-season workout conditioning um, along the way. Mm -hmm. How much, if any, did that, I guess, ease the um, the emotion of not playing in the fall and not having that long gap? Well, you know, the guys? We, we did some things in July, in the month of July. Um, you know, obviously we didn't have footballs and we were social, social distancing. Um, so we did as much as we could. Uh, and then when the, in the, the VHSL announced that football was going to be moved to the spring, uh, we, sh we shut it down for the whole month of August and we're able to pick back up about the second week of September and um, you know just now starting to be able to get a ball out and throw the ball and throw a catch but to be honest with you and to answer your question man it's been great um, just having the kids out here you know they need this as much as we need this and um, just being able to have them here with us and to be around them and, and to have each other to be around each other we're still a family you know whether we're playing football or not we're still a family. I mean it helped us like we can prepare more like everybody can get bigger, faster, and stronger. Like, get ready for the season. What was the message you told the guys to kind of keep hey, them mentally ready, oh. mentally sharp, and, you know, just kind of keep them, like you say, like you said, like a family unit? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you, Sean. I mean, this is a tough time in the world today. So, you know, we talk more about oh stuff God. other than football than football. You know, football will be there for them when it's time is right. And, you know, all the things that we've tried to instill and ingrain in these kids all along the way, them to use those tools right now to help them through this time. I know guys asked a lot of questions, especially once the VHSL said, you know, we are going to play in the spring after pushing it back from the fall. What was the most repeated question they asked you and your staff? Uh, our players? Yeah. Um, you know, just you know, we're really going to play. I mean, I think I've heard that a lot. You know, are we, are we really going to play? I know they got a schedule set up and, and so forth, but, uh, you know, everyone's just hesitant. You know, it's, it's such it's such a fluid situation that nobody really knows for sure what's going to happen. So, you know, that's just, uh, you just tell me, you know, just uh, deal with each day as it comes and do the best you can with it and make sure you're staying on top of your schoolwork, make sure you're, you're, you're working out and you're, you're staying in shape and you're ready to go when your number is called. The range of emotions from you and your and your team, you know, from the from the high of winning a state title mm -hmm. to knowing you're not gonna play in the fall to okay we're gonna play in the spring to now we know what the schedule's gonna look like. How were you able to kind of handle the range of emotions from Well, you and you know, Sean, like I said before, I think it's bigger than football, you know, with these guys. I mean, we really don't look at our schedule or look ahead to anything anyway. We just we just take it day by day and try to be a better person each and every day. And you know, that's one of the things that's my message to the kids in the Zoom meetings and, and when talking to them is, hey, just to be the best you can for the day. Uh, do everything you can to stay safe and keep your family safe. And, uh, you know, we'll get through this together. How different will this team look in the spring? Uh, well, it'll be different without Trey. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we feel like we have a great program here. And that's one of the things I always talk to the kids about is we don't want to have good teams. We want to have a good program. And uh, we've got some capable football players and kids that are, are ready and eager to step up to the plate and um, and make a name for themselves. And I think you'll see that in the spring. Um, your level of optimism. Obviously, you come off a state championship, second in four years. Um, obviously, you want to win a state championship each and every year. Did it change at all once the pandemic hit? As far as your level you know, of optimism about this team? No, we still have the same goals uh, each and every year. And, um, you know, a lot of those goals have to do with, uh, you know, helping these young men to, to have the tools to be successful in life. And winning is a byproduct of that. And uh, wins will come. So, you know, that's what we focus on mainly. What did you miss the most about not being around the guys for what it was, three months, couple months, something like that? Yeah, like three or four. Yeah. What, what did you miss about not being around the guys? I mean, I miss, like, the jokes we have and stuff. Like, it's just a whole lot of, like, fun with the guys. I've heard from a couple guys they actually missed the practicing. Yeah. Even though you don't like doing it at that particular time, but you were together as a team. Did you miss it at all? The yeah, I, I missed the practice. That was, like, intense and, like, yeah. competition. This and have fun and all that. Um, I asked Coach about the level of optimism. You guys coming off a state championship again. Um, but this team is going to look a little different in, yeah. in the spring. Um, so as a player, your what was your level of maybe optimism or expectation of this group and maybe how much of it that changed when you guys came back knowing you would play in the spring? I mean, we lost a lot of guys, but like it's more people we got that can step up and just like finish the job. I feel like we can win another state championship. 